You know what's funny about drinking these green smoothies? Is that you often get, I think I need to upgrade my blender. Cause sometimes you get like a lump in there and I'm like, hmm, what is that lump? But I know what I've put in here so that it can't be anything un, it's just bizarre. Um, I wanted to share something um, in the mind section today because it, it just, it hit me again yesterday. I was listening to a, a message from Joel Osteen. And I know I've said this before, but it really is so simple and it's such a good thought to keep in your head. And he was giving the analogy again of, you know, so many of us waste so much time looking back, looking at past mistakes that we've made, um, things that have happened that have been wrong. You know, if someone's wronged us, if somebody is, has really hurt us, we spend all this time and energy focusing on, you know, something that's already happened that we can't change. Um, me personally, I'm telling you, I mean, I came from a horrible, horrible divorce for the past couple of years. And believe me, if I wanted to, I could sit here for hours and, and analyze it because there is nothing about this whole situation that made any logical sense whatsoever. You know, and, and anybody that knows, my ex-husband would say the same thing. It just was so out of the blue, it was completely bizarre, there was just no explanation, and and it, I could spend the rest of my life trying to figure it out. I could spend the rest of my life missing the person that used to be my best friend. Um, but that doesn't help me, that doesn't do anything. And when you think about it at, in, in the analogy of um, looking in the rear view mirror versus looking in your, uh, in your windshield, you know, looking in the rearview mirror, number one, you can't focus on what's ahead of you. When you're looking in the rearview mirror, you're constantly looking behind you. And the rearview mirror is so small because you're looking at what's behind you. And realistically, if you stop focusing on that rearview mirror, what you're looking at in that rearview mirror is as you get further and further away, it's going to become smaller and smaller and less, less significant to you. Where if you focus on the windshield, the windshield is... 20 times the size of your, your rear view mirror and it's that way for a reason because there is so much more in front of you as opposed to what's behind you and that is the world is your oyster your life is what you choose to make of it so if you want to stay focused on what's in your rear view mirror in order to really focus on that you pretty much are gonna have to stop you're gonna have to stop your life and sit there and choose to look in that rearview mirror because it's so far away, it's so behind you, and there's nothing you can do to change it other than to go in reverse. And I don't think any of us want to go in reverse. So I mean, that analogy, it's so, it's so simple, but yet at the same time, it's so profound if you really think about it. So try to like constantly keep that in the back of your head. It helps me so much because there's things that have been said and done to me that don't make any sense, they're not fair, but you know what, big deal. That's going to happen the rest of my life. And if I want to sit here and get upset about it and whine about how unfair it is or how it isn't right, what's that doing for my life? It's not doing my, anything for my life. It certainly isn't doing anything to the people that have wronged me. They, could, they either could care less or they're just going to do it again. So what I need to do is focus on me because the only thing that I'm in control of is me. And in my where I'm going to drive my car and where I'm going to focus my future. And I'm all about making my future better than it ever could possibly be. And I get more confident about it every day. But you've got to choose where you're going to put your focus. Are you going to put your focus back there? Or are you going to put your focus out front? That's all I have to say for today. So there's that. Two snaps and I'm out. Have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.